What's going on, friends? I've got something just a little bit different here today. This is the Engway M20 e-bike. These things are actually pretty cool. I'm not really a big e-bike guy, but I've really kind of got into them just a little bit here lately. I've really started to see some of their features and benefits. And this right here, I've had a blast out testing this, riding it off-road, getting to go out, beat up on a little bit, and see what it's got. Now, this thing is absolutely awesome. It is kind of heavy for the bike, but the first thing you will notice is that it does have dual batteries on it. The dual batteries on this thing allow it to have a range up close to about 90 miles. And I can attest to that for when I was riding it, I was getting about 30 miles per battery, but that's with me on a throttle a lot and not really doing a whole lot of pedaling. Of course, that's going to vary by your terrain. But for the most part, anywhere from about 30 miles is about average of what I was getting on a high level pedal assist and using the throttle quite a bit. Now, as I mentioned, this bike does weigh quite a bit. It is somewhat heavy. It's roughly about 90 pounds with the dual batteries and the dual suspension. But that's not a bad thing. Having it a little bit heavier when you're running down the dirt roads and you're riding out off road, that extra bit of weight does help keep the bike planted and really lets this front and rear suspension do its work. Now, one thing you will notice, this is a little bit different looking than most bicycles. It's kind of more laid out like a motorcycle, which really isn't a bad thing at all. Now, crawling on the bike, it's definitely a little bit different feeling than any bicycle you've ever ridden. The seat's more motorcycle oriented, but the seating position, everything, not too bad. I, I like it. It feels like a motorcycle, but when you're standing up and you're pedaling it, it's, it's a different feeling, I'll give it that. It's definitely different, but it's really not too bad at all. I've enjoyed, like I mentioned, I've enjoyed riding it. It's been wonderful for me. Just, you gotta kinda be a little weary of this battery. Watch what you're running over, cause you definitely don't wanna get bounced off the pedals and land on the battery. Oh, oh shit, <laughs> that hurt. Now, the only bad thing about this, there's no seat adjustment on it. So what you see here is what you get. But there's a lot of things about this bike that I really do like that you don't see on a lot of other bikes. Now, one thing you're gonna notice that you don't see on a lot of other bikes is gonna be these cast wheels. I absolutely love the cast wheels. This is kind of a new concept for me on a bicycle, but having the cast wheels, you definitely don't have to worry about bending them or having them true. Now. This bike is a little bit different, obviously, by the way it looks, but it's the 20 inch wheels. The 20 inch wheels are a little different than what you might normally be used to with a 26 inch bike. So it doesn't necessarily roll over some of the bigger stuff as easier as you would if you had the bigger 20 inch wheels on it. Definitely say the headlights on this thing are some of the best that I've ever seen on an e-bike. Having the dual lights, you have the running light down here, and then we have the high beam, which is absolutely awesome at night. Now I did have a problem with this, with the top light on this, did have a little bit of a short in it. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. I hadn't really had a chance to look at it, but the bike is actually built pretty tough. Just kind of going over some of the things here. You've got these long travel forks on it. These are actually oil dampened. And up here, you can actually adjust these to your, to your compression. It doesn't have a rebound adjustment, but it does have a compression adjustment on it. So to fit your different terrain and whatever weight you are. Real nice kind of motorcycle style triple clamps here on the forks, heavy duty neck bearings, stem, all that. Everything's really good looking here. The controls, really nice. And I love this on this bike. It's actually got a actual throttle on it, just like a motorcycle. Now, if you're trying to ride it like a bicycle and pull it up and like pull the front end up and do some different things, that can be a little difficult, but not too bad. It's got this HLT 100 shock on it. This thing works pretty dang good. You can actually sit on the seat, riding down dirt roads and some rougher terrain. It really doesn't bother you at all. Got a real nice swing arm set up here. Nice bushings, nice connectors. Everything looks really clean on this. Now back here we have the 750 watt motor that's actually built into the hub. This is actually pretty powerful. It does push you up hills. I took it up some really steep hills myself. You still have to put some pedal effort into it, but it is much easier than trying to power up this bike all the way up to the top of the hill by yourself. Now, as you mentioned, we got the dual battery set up here. You can run one battery at a time or both batteries at a time. It doesn't add any extra power, give you any extra speed, but definitely works for a lot of range. 
pedaling this thing, if you keep it in a lower mode and you kind of do a mix of running the throttle or pedaling, I could definitely see getting probably probably closer to the 70, 80 mile an hour range out of it. Just depends how much you use the pedal assist and how high you have it turned up. Now to turn it on, as I mentioned, you can use either battery you want. We'll just go with the bottom battery here. Go ahead and turn it on, got your miles per hour. You come in here and you can set your pedal assist up for whatever you like, one through five. Five actually gives you quite a bit of pedal assist. One does pretty good. Got your standard horn here. Then we got our headlights on and off. Seven speed Shimano gear derailleur. Works great, actually came out of the box. This thing was actually set up really well right out of the box. I didn't really even have to make any adjustments to it after I got it put together. Of course, it's got disc brakes on the front, disc brakes on the rear. Now it does have a full complement of headlight, taillight. So if you're riding in an urban area, you're gonna be legal to ride at night. Plus you're gonna be safe. And that's a big thing on a bicycle because as you guys know, a lot of you ride motorcycles probably. A lot of this is, uh, it can be kind of dangerous riding a bicycle at night without lights, especially when nobody can see it. But at night, everything is illuminated really nice. As I mentioned, this is some of the best headlights I've ever ridden with on a bicycle at night. Now guys, your batteries are actually key lockable so somebody can't steal your batteries. Not only that, they actually have a charging port here. You can plug your kit phone into these batteries and actually charge your phone when you're out on the go. This thing has a lot of neat uses to it. So many good uses for these. If you guys take trips with your motorcycle, if you got a toy hauler, however you haul your motorcycles, if you don't ride them there, throw these in there because if you guys go to a campground they have quiet hours or something, these are awesome to get up. If you gotta get up after hours or something, run to the restrooms, these are awesome to hop on. You're not gonna wake everybody up around you. Not to mention if you live in a small town or something or you commute in an urban area, these are wonderful for that. I've had a great time actually using this to go to some of our college football games. I could park kind of somewhere away from the crowds, hop on this thing, ride it all the way across campus, lock it up, go to the game, come back out and ride it back. Now, top speed on this thing, basically what I've kind of gotten out of it, I was getting about close to about 25 miles an hour. If I'm pedaling it really, really hard, maybe got a good downhill, you can definitely see over 30 on it. And it's got the speedometer on it. so. You're getting pretty close there. I kind of GPSed it on the phone a little bit. I didn't have a phone mount on it, but I could definitely tell it was within a mile an hour or two, but does it really matter on a bicycle? But anyhow, guys, if you're interested, I'll leave the links below. They've been very generous to give us a nice little discount code if you'd like to pick one up. These things have a lot of uses. They're a lot of fun to ride. Not to mention the kids love them as well. And especially having one of these kind of the off-road bikes, these can actually go anywhere. And not with the knobby tires on it, Riding down the road, it's a little noisy, but it's not too bad. As I mentioned, with it being an off-road bike, the tires on these things are actually puncture resistant. I've taken this on a lot of dirt roads with a lot of sharp rocks, a lot of different terrain. Hadn't had an issue, one out of it. But anyhow, guys, that's all I've got for you on this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. But also, leave a comment on your thoughts on these. What's your thoughts on e-bikes? Have you got into them? you paid any attention to them? I think they're pretty interesting, kind of a neat piece. But anyhow guys, I'll be back Friday with one of my regular videos, so stick around for that. But until then, you guys stay safe on the streets, ride smart, dodge those cars, and I'll see you back here Friday in the new video. Thanks for watching.